Hi and welcome back. This is the place to be if you want a woman's opinion on men's fragrances. We are going to go through 10 amazing fragrances that smells alluring and alluring scents are some of the best. They are not obviously sexy but they are definitely seductive and they makes you smell attractive. These are scents that sparks an interest and I'm not expecting you to agree with all of my 10 choices because there are some pretty wild stuff in this list but please tell me which ones that sparks an interest in you. So let's start with the first one and the first one is Valentino Uomo Born in Roma Coral Fantasy and I know that is like the longest name ever. This one is aromatic it's fresh spicy, it's warm and it is fruity. The top notes are Calabrian bergamot, there is red apple and cardamom. In the midst the aromatic mix of lavender, clary sage and geranium and in the base a beautiful light tobacco note, some patchouli and vetiver. As for seasons this is perfect to wear in the spring and the fall. It definitely works summertime too but I think this is the perfect scent to wear in these transition periods where we are going from cold weather to warm weather or from warm weather to cold weather. So this is one you wear with jeans and a t-shirt or jeans and a shirt. You're sitting at some outside serving, drinking a coffee or a glass of wine and this will definitely make you smell alluring. So about the performance, this is above average. It stays on for long and it has quite a good prediction. And the whiffs others get of this one is really good. This is aromatic and fruity with a light tobacco note. So wear this if you like tobacco fragrances and if you are intrigued by a scent where the tobacco is not the star but it's very important for the scent smelling the way it does. Dolce & Gabbana the one EDP. This is a classic fragrance. It does have a bad performance but it makes women go crazy. This is so masculine and so sensual. It's warm and spicy, it's fresh, it's aromatic and it has a bit of sweetness. The top notes are grapefruit, coriander and basil. In the midst ginger, cardamom and sweet orange blossom. And in the base amber, tobacco and cedar. I love the freshness in the top from the grapefruit. I think the midst with the spices like ginger and cardamom makes it just beautiful together with the sweet orange blossom and a base with something woody tobacco and amber always works. So seasons to wear this is actually all year around. I think you can wear it in colder months because this is warm it is spicy and thanks to that freshness and the sweetness I think it also works when the weather is warmer. This is one you can wear with anything. You can wear it casual or you can wear it dressed up however it will Will make you smell elegant and sensual in the most perfect way. YSL La Nuit de l'Homme Bleu Electric. This is maybe the best La Nuit de l'Homme from YSL. This is warm spicy, it's aromatic, woody and fresh. In the top there is that beautiful cardamom note that you find in the La Nuit de l'Homme fragrances together with some ginger and bergamot. In the midst lavender and geranium and in the base cedar and vetiver. This is so good and it does have many similarities with the original but this has some kind of sweetness and the sparkling energizing scent of that ginger which makes it stand out a bit more. This is fancy, it's dressed up and you wear it with a suit or when you're just dressed up maybe going on a date or going out with friends. Definitely essential and alluring fragrance. I hear different opinions about the performance on this one. I think it's a bit above average but it's not beast mode. Montabaco Intensivo from Armand Jane and this is the most luxurious and unique tobacco fragrance I have ever smelled. It smells like a million bucks and there's just nothing like it. This one is woody, it's fresh, it's aromatic, musky and airy osonic in a beautiful way. There are many notes in this one so I'm not going to go through them all but there's mountain air, there's a mix of citrus notes, different kinds of florals like white florals, rose, violet and there's woody notes, there's isoe super, some suede and that tobacco note together with some ambergris. And every time I smell this one I am amazed by how good it is. It really smells like nothing else. It smells extremely elegant but the truth is that you can wear this 
you can wear it with anything. You can rock this with a cool leather jacket and it will make you smell cool and rough. You can rock this with a suit and it will make you smell seductive and elegant. Or you can just wear it casually and you will smell so fantastic. The performance is really good and you will get reactions with this one because it's just so unique and it really stands out. Maison Margiela Replica Jazz Club. This is many men's favorite dating fragrance and I can see why because this is an alluring scent. It's sweet, boozy, woody and with a focus on rum and tobacco. In the top there is neroli, lemon and pink pepper. In the midst vetiver, that rum and clary sage. And in the base tobacco, styrax and vanilla. This is beautiful because it has something spicy aromatic about it. It has the sweetness from the tobacco, some sweetness from vanilla and the wonderful boozy rum. It's not a beast mode performer but it stays on for long and it projects just perfectly for a date. When you are sitting on a dinner date maybe one or two meters between you and the one you are seeing she will be able to pick this up and it will make you smell good. Definitely for the colder months of the year but I also think it does work in warmer weather. Maybe not in very hot weather but I mean a summer evening with this one on will definitely smell really good. You can never ever go wrong with a fragrance that has both tobacco, rum and vanilla and that's why this is the perfect dating fragrance. Paco Rabanne Major Me. This is one in the Pa collection from Paco Rabanne and if you have seen my other videos you know that I love those fragrances and this is maybe the top three amongst those and that means that this is really good. This is fruity, warm, spicy, sweet and woody. It's a designer fragrance that really smells niche. The top notes are cherry and pepper and cherry in fragrances is just one of the most perfect notes. Don't get me started on Guerlain L'Omidial de EDP with that fabulous cherry note. This cherry is just as good. The middle notes is patchouli, incense and oud. And the combination of that incense and that oud is so unique and so sexy. In the base, benzoin and moss. But this is really about the incense, the oud and the cherry together. That smokiness, the warmth, the sweetness and the fruitiness from the cherry is so so alluring and this is a really great performer and quite the opposite of what you would think about a fragrance with both incense and oud this is incredible in warm weather it's definitely a fragrance that you wear when it's cold outside but the first time I smelled this was in really hot weather and the cherry and the oud and the incense in that warm weather was quite incredible. Wear this with anything. Any kind of outfit works with a fragrance like this. Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. And this is what I usually refer to as the cheap version of Galloway, but it doesn't smell cheap. Galloway from Parfums de Marly is a beautiful fragrance, but it does cost like $200 and that's quite much money. So if you want something that's not exactly the same, but in the same kind of vibe, just try Legend Spirit and you might find what you are looking for. This is like Galloway, fresh, aquatic, musky and with an aromatic side. There is some woodiness and a hint of powderiness. What this doesn't have is the floral side that you find in Galloway. I actually think this is disgusting continued but I know that it's still around and you can find it in some stores. The top notes are grapefruit, bergamot and pink pepper. In the midst watery notes cardamom and lavender. And in the base woody notes white musk and oak moss. I love that citrusy mix with grapefruit and bergamot. And the watery notes together with the musky side and some cardamom on top of that. You just can't go wrong with notes like that. I would say that this actually works for any kind of occasion. You can wear dress up and you can wear it casually but this is more of a casual kind of scent to me but very alluring and sensual. The performance is average it's not a beast mode performer but that's not always what you're going for. Sometimes you just want something that makes you smell good for the people closest to you and not take over a whole room. 
Amouage Mitz Man. This is not for everyone, but if you do like leather and if you like smoky fragrances, this might be perfect for you. This is one that I don't expect everyone to agree with me on, but if you like leather, this is a really good scent. It's smoky, aromatic, woody and herbal. It has a powdery touch from Oris in the top together with chrysanthemum. In the midst, alamy, rum and rose. And in the base, ash, leather and labdanum. So you have lots of leather notes here with the leather and the labdanum and the ash makes it smoky in a fantastic way. Actually almost like the smoky ashy tobacco note that you find in Montebacco Intensivo. These are not the same but if you like that kind of ashy smokiness in a fragrance these are two that you should try. This is a beast mode performer. You do not have to go overboard with the sprays. People will notice you when you have this on even if you have only two to four sprays. In incredible leather fragrance if you like leather and something ashy smoky and if you don't mind standing out wear it with just about anything if you have this with a leather jacket you will smell bold and cool if you wear it with a suit you will smell incredibly elegant van cleef and arpels santal blanc i think this is kind of underrated i actually think many fragrances from van cleef and arpels are quite underrated. They have beautiful scents. They maybe don't have beast mode performance, but they have really great scents that are unique and with their own personality, each and every one of them. This is woody, powdery, fruity, sweet, and a bit musky. The top notes are mandarin, orange, and fig, and that fig is really good. If you don't like the scent of fig, this is not for you. But if you do like fig, this is quite amazing. In the midst, you have sandalwood and violet. And I would say that the sandalwood in Santal Blanc somehow reminds me of Le Labo Santal 33. They are not the same, but it's that kind of sandalwood. In the base, you have musk, tonka bean, and benzoin. So something that makes it musky and sweet and somehow creamy. This doesn't project like crazy, but if you go with six to 10 sprays, people will pick it up around you. And it does stay long on your skin. This is extremely elegant and alluring, and this is definitely one you wear dressed up. As for occasions, wear it any time of the year, but I think because of the performance that people will be able to pick it up if you wear it more in summer, spring and fall than in winter. And the last one is one that not many are going to agree with me on, but this scent is so amazing. It's really, no, it's not alluring, it's drop dead sexy. And it is leather old from Christian Dior. This is not available everywhere. It's kind of hard to get nowadays, but I do know of many who are longing to sell their bottle because they don't like it. So maybe check in forums online where you maybe can purchase this from someone else who's got it and don't like it. This is smoky, woody and spicy leather and old. There is bergamot in the top so there is something a bit fresh in the opening. This has a prominent note of cloves, there is geranium and there is cardamom. In the base leather, old, birch and smoke. Woody notes, sand and patchouli. This is really about the leather and the oud in this spicy, smoky and woody blend. This is not a fragrance you wear if you want everyone to love your scent because this is not a fragrance that everyone will love. But if you meet someone who is into oud and leather and don't mind a fragrance standing out and smelling a bit dirty, this is definitely something that you should try out. This has beast mode performance, so you don't need to have many sprays to really stand out. But the fact is that for the right occasions, it's actually kind of cool when you have sprayed just a little bit too much of this one. But do not do that if you are going to like watch a movie with a date or going to a restaurant because you will choke people around you. This should be worn either with a great suit or with the coolest outfit with some ripped jeans and a leather jacket. Maybe not in the summer and warmer months of the year, but definitely in the colder months. That's 10 fragrances I think smells incredibly alluring. Tell me in the comments which one is your favorite. Tell me if there's anything you would not wear and do like this video and subscribe with the notifications bell on before leaving. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.